Today's experiment is all about learning how to use common chemistry laboratory equipment. You're going to be using a measuring cylinder, a graduated pipette, a bulb pipette, and a burette today, and you're going to be using them to deliver 20 mils of water as accurately and precisely as possible. Start by taking a 100 mil conical flask, taking it into the analytical balance room, and accurately weighing it on an analytical balance. Make sure you record all four decimal places for your mass, and when you take that reading, make sure all of the balance doors are completely shut. Then come out into the lab, take a piece of equipment, in this example I've taken a bulb pipette, and use that piece of equipment to deliver exactly 20 mils into that conical flask. The pipette is a specialist piece of equipment, it has a very specific technique that you must use, which I'm demonstrating here. For full instruction on how to use it, I advise you to watch the pipette instructional video, which is attached immediately below this one. It will be well worth your while for this semester. Becoming accurate and precise with the pipette is one of your major goals for this unit. Once you've delivered your 20 mils as accurately as possible, recork your conical flask, go back into the balance room, use the same balance, re-zero it, pop your flask in the balance, shut all of the doors, and take a reading again, a mass after you've added your water. Record that mass on your result sheet, all four decimal places, and note that to save you time in this experiment, your final mass from the previous experiment can be your initial mass for your next trial. So you can add your next 20 mils, right on top of the previous 20 mils. There is no need to wash out your flask. So here I can add my next 20 mils directly into the conical flask. So your task today will involve you adding 20 mils as accurately and precisely as you can using each piece of equipment shown here twice. Once you have done that, show your results to your demonstrator. Make sure they're happy with your progress. You can then enter your results on the computer and go about writing up your laboratory report. If you've got any questions, feel free to get in touch. But otherwise, once again, all about accuracy and precision. If you keep that in mind throughout the day, you should do well. Finally, if you're after some hints and tips for how to write up your practical report, be sure to consult the first few pages of your prac manual. Some good clues there. Good luck.